Do you ever find yourself scrolling through YouTube, trying to find a way to improve your personal finance or learn about how to invest in the stock market? If so, chances are you've come across Meet Kevin, a popular YouTuber who's amassed a massive following by teaching people how to make money online and achieve financial freedom. Meet Kevin has become a sensation in the world of personal finance and investing. But is Meet Kevin really all he appears to be? In this shocking expose, we're going to reveal the truth about Meet Kevin and what really goes on behind the scenes of his YouTube empire. Meet Kevin's YouTube channel has become one of the most popular personal finance channels on the internet. Kevin Pathrath, the face behind Meet Kevin, has been providing viewers with advice on how to invest in stocks, how to make money online, and how to achieve financial freedom. But while Meet Kevin may seem like a helpful and informative channel, there's a shocking truth that viewers need to know. It turns out that Meet Kevin's advice is not always reliable. In fact, some of his investment strategies are downright risky. Many of his followers have lost significant amounts of money by following his advice, and some have even accused him of promoting scams. One of the most controversial aspects of Meet Kevin's channel is his promotion of real estate investing. While real estate can be a great way to build wealth, it is not without its risks. Meet Kevin often promotes high leverage real estate deals, which can be extremely risky for inexperienced investors. Many of his followers have been lured into these deals only to find themselves in financial trouble when things don't go as planned. In addition to his questionable investment advice, Meet Kevin has also been accused of being dishonest about his own financial situation. He claims to have achieved financial independence at a young age, but there are rumors that he actually inherited a large sum of money from his family. Despite these controversies, Meet Kevin continues to attract a large following on YouTube. Many of his followers are young and inexperienced investors who are looking for advice on how to achieve financial freedom. Meet Kevin's charismatic personality and confident delivery style make him an appealing figure to these viewers. But as more and more people become aware of the risks associated with Meet Kevin's advice, it remains to be seen whether his channel will continue to grow in popularity. Before we start, make sure to subscribe and leave a comment saying I'm in. We'll do our best to respond to your shout out. While Meet Kevin's investment strategies in the stock market might be questionable, his real estate strategies are even more unsettling. Kevin often talks about his success in the real estate market, claiming that it is an easy way to make money and achieve financial freedom. However, upon closer examination, his methods are quite concerning. One of his most popular strategies is known as house hacking, where he encourages people to buy multi-unit property, live in one unit, and rent out the others to cover the mortgage and expenses. While this may seem like a great idea in theory, it can actually be quite risky and complicated. Firstly, this strategy heavily relies on the assumption that the rental income will be enough to cover the mortgage and expenses. However, what happens if the rental market suddenly declines or the property requires unexpected repairs? This could put the homeowner in a precarious financial situation. Furthermore, Meet Kevin often promotes using FHA loans, which require a lower down payment but come with higher interest rates and mortgage insurance premiums. This can result in significantly higher monthly payments and a longer payoff period, ultimately costing the homeowner more in the long run. Additionally, house hacking can also have negative effects on the surrounding community. By converting a single family home into a multi-unit property, it can potentially lower property values and disrupt the neighborhood's residential character. Meet Kevin's real estate strategies may seem enticing on the surface, but they come with many risks and potential drawbacks. It's crucial for individuals to thoroughly research and consider all options before making any investment decisions. Despite Kevin's early success in the stock market, he soon shifted his focus to the world of real estate investing. He started by purchasing his first rental property at the age of 23 and has since accumulated a vast real estate portfolio that generates passive income. Kevin is known for his unique approach to real estate investing, which involves buying properties that require renovation and then using his skills to add value to the property. He has shared his knowledge on this topic through his popular YouTube channel, where he provides step-by-step -step tutorials on how to invest in real estate. But while Kevin has amassed a large fortune through his real estate investments, some critics have accused him of using unethical tactics to acquire properties. One of the most controversial examples is his purchase of a dilapidated house in the San Francisco Bay area for just $300,000. The property was in an area that was rapidly gentrifying and Kevin quickly flipped it for a profit of over $200,000. Critics have accused Kevin of taking advantage of the housing crisis in the Bay Area, where skyrocketing home prices have made it difficult for middle-class families to find affordable housing. They argue that Kevin's practices have contributed to the displacement of working-class families and have made the housing crisis worse. Despite these criticisms, Kevin continues to defend his approach to real estate investing and maintains that he's helping to revitalize communities by improving the properties he acquires. 
He has also emphasized the importance of responsible investing and has encouraged his viewers to use their investments to make a positive impact on their communities. But as Kevin's real estate empire continues to grow, some are left wondering if his success has come at a too high of a cost. Will Kevin's controversial tactics catch up to him, or will he continue to thrive in the world of real estate investing? Only time will tell. As Kevin's popularity grew, so did his ambition. He began to expand his content, delving into the world of real estate investing. He claimed that he had achieved financial independence through investing in rental properties and even created a course on how to do the same. But some of his followers began to question his methods. They pointed out that Kevin had the advantage of starting his real estate journey during a time when the market was favorable and that his success may not be as easily replicated in today's market. In addition, there were some who criticized Kevin's course, claiming that it was overpriced and lacked valuable information. They accused him of preying on the financial insecurity of his followers by selling them a dream that may not be achievable for everyone. Despite the criticisms, Kevin's followers remained loyal. They continued to tune into his videos and buy his courses, hoping to achieve the same level of financial success that he had. But as time went on, rumors began to circulate about Kevin's personal life. Some claimed that he had been involved in shady business deals and had even faced illegal troubles in the past. These rumors only added to the controversy surrounding Kevin and left many of his followers wondering if they could truly trust the financial advice he was giving them. The revelations about Meet Kevin's shady business practices and false claims about his investment strategies have shaken up the personal finance community. Many of his followers have expressed disappointment and anger, feeling misled by someone they trusted to provide financial guidance. Meet Kevin has since responded to the accusations, but his explanations have only added fuel to the fire. He claims that his intentions were never to deceive his audience and that he was simply trying to provide accessible financial advice. However, the evidence against him was hard to ignore. As the controversy continues to unfold, many are left wondering how to protect themselves from similar situations. Experts recommended conducting thorough research before taking financial advice from anyone, even someone with a large following like Meet Kevin. It's important to remember that not all influencers have the audience's best interests in mind. The shocking truth about Meet Kevin serves as a reminder to always question the information we receive and to never blindly trust anyone, especially when it comes to our finances. We must educate ourselves and take responsibility for our own financial decisions. Like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more eye-popping content about personal finance, investing, and the stock market. And don't forget to check out our next video, The Influence of Andrew Tate on Luke Belmar, for more shocking revelations about another popular influencer in the finance world.